This is BBC News. I'm Martine Croxall. The headlines at five. The race to reach a deal. Delegates enter the last 48 hours of the COP26 summit to try to tackle climate change. The world is watching us and they're willing us to work together and reach consensus. And we know that we cannot afford to fail them. The NHS under stress. Paramedics tell the BBC lives are at risk because of growing waits for ambulances. We'll be speaking to the Vice President of the College of Paramedics just before half past five. More developments in the racism scandal surrounding Yorkshire County Cricket Club as club CEO Mark Arthur becomes the latest to resign. The husband of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe says his meeting with a foreign office minister was depressing and left him stuck in the same status quo. Richard Ratcliffe says his hunger strike will continue. Communities across the UK come together for Armistice Day, a year after commemorations were disrupted by the pandemic. Welcome to BBC News. The COP26 Climate Change Summit in Glasgow has entered its last 48 hours, with countries being urged to step up their efforts and reach a meaningful final deal. Just a short while ago, we heard from the president of the summit who said that ministers and negotiators are rolling up their sleeves to find solutions. Let's join my colleague in Glasgow, Christian Fraser. 